Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, doing another review finally. It's going to be top 500 Anna. Um, two things. I'm going to try to do this without pausing. Maybe I'll pause a couple times, but a lot of people were saying that I was pausing too long. Um, we'll see how it goes. And then another thing is I haven't slept like in a million years, so I'm probably going to be re like really stupid, but whatever. Let's do this. Um, we Stick together. Comp, we I will guess. complete our mission. You could play solo it. DPS tracer. If you really so XQC is in this, so it's gonna like he's really he's a pro player and like in general it's a top 500 game. So this is, should be high level. We'll see how it goes. soldiers on the ground. <clears throat> so I don't know what your Lucio is doing up there or down there. That was pretty uh, questionable, especially since in the high ground, it's really good to have a Lucio there to for boops and stuff. Um, to either deny high ground or whatever, it's just really valuable. Um, this was good team rotation by you guys. It seems like you made it. Okay, that one was. Uh, you should never drop. You already had high ground. You know they're not denying high ground. They're on the ground. You sh I almost paused it. I don't want to pause it. But you, you, you. There's no reason to drop there. You guys win this fight so easily if you're up there free farming. So definitely, definitely. Um, I know the mentality of like. Like, maybe sometimes you want to get closer for more heals, like, if you want to nade yourself and a teammate, or, like, or it's just easier to heal in general, but that was, that was definitely, like, super questionable. I would not, that was a really good nade, like, that was definitely valuable, and in hindsight, it was better than nading your Roadhog, because he, like, he's still alive, like, clearly it's fine. But um, I actually fought, found that really risky. I think potentially your Roadhog dies there if, if you don't nade him. Uh, this is really weird positioning. I would have taken high ground and called a regroup to point for your team. Uh, what happened, what ended up happening because you guys didn't call a regroup and that's usually on you or the Lucio, is your team, it, it got really chaotic and your team kind of kited. Um, or chase certain kills and then you got leashed by them to chase them to keep healing them and keep LOS Whereas if you went high ground and called your team to come to point and regroup You have high ground to free farm and your team stays on the same page If there's no regroup calls made the game is super chaotic and you people will always just be Spreading out and doing random dumb stuff no matter how high level the game is so you um, You definitely should be Trying to call, like, coordinate teams to regroup more, um, especially when you could have taken high ground like that and free farmed. You're not, you should be healing your uh, soldier. Your soldier was peeking main to get info, and you weren't um, watching him and keeping up at all. He's fine, he has uh, sprint, and he has, he has, um, Self heal, but it's still like you should definitely be keeping an eye on him better. You like kind of ignored him. Uh, another thing is your your uh, nade spam like before anything even happened was a little risky. You should definitely be going for offensive nades as often as possible, but make sure that you they're a little bit more calculated. Make sure they are more high percentage. Like you can you don't just throw them randomly for sure. Like you can throw a lot frequently, but not randomly. Like that one was fine. I feel like that was more high percentage. I don't know if you guys necessarily even get anything out of that. Either it delays the push, slash builds your ult, but I don't know. That that's pretty bad right there. You guys had no info. I don't know where they came from really, but I feel like you guys should have known if you had good info that they were coming from there. That got way more value than it should have. That's a really good play. Nano, nanoing Ryan inside a grav. If you guys don't have a lot to combo, that's that's always the go-to, especially on my team. Um, especially because it also builds Earth Shatter, and if he gets the Shatter and the team fight still isn't won, he could um, close out the team fight with the Earth Shatter. Or if you already close it out right away, then he has Earth Shatter for next push. It's it's just always really good. It's a good sleep there. Definitely don't need to use nano. Hopefully you don't use it here. 
Um, definitely also call your nade cooldown for your, when your Zarya or just anyone in general is low health like that. Definitely let them know when your nade is coming up so they can play accordingly if they need to. Um, a lot, a lot of this game at the higher levels is keeping track of like every cooldown of your teammates and like the enemy. It's not just ults. Like, it's it's pretty known that like. Obviously, you want to keep track of ult management and stuff, but at the highest levels, it's also just like cooldowns. Um, like your nade is a really big cooldown, like an important cooldown that people should know whether you have it or not, or when it's coming up. Same with Zarya barriers. Um, it's the same concept as like letting your team know is your like Ryan shield health and stuff. Like just every like every little thing like matters. Like all the information, it's a really big deal. I played in a matchmaking last night with um, Numlocked, and we had a Zarya that was like 4.4k, but never told us when his bar like Zarya barrier was ever up. He just used it randomly to build charge, and like it just shows like the difference between like a high-rated player and a pro. Like it doesn't matter how high-rated you are. Like that that's some of the worst teamwork and team coordination. Just like communication that I've seen from like a high rated player and the fact that he got there without that like it just it's pretty sad like I don't know to like overly roast him but that was a pretty careless nade like you potentially could have like like you could potentially really need it soon um or like went like you could have needed it like uh mid fight this is like really hard to analyze because every the, it just turns into like a shit show. Oh, okay, yeah, exactly. Like right there, that was just stupid. No. I don't like this positioning at all either, because like I understand your your mentality. You have high ground, but it's like you're in front of them. Like you should at least go around the like the backside of it, like behind you, on the high ground, so that you're you you don't give it up, but you're not an LOS of their high ground. Can't play anything. Go trash, dude. Definitely could have kept him up right there. That was pretty. What the fuck is happening? Definitely should have been able to hit those shots. I find it really weird that you guys are still just like sprinting in here, even though you just lost a person. And you also didn't look where you were going, so you just walked right in. While they have high ground and they got the free anti on you and just free damage. Like it could have been, it didn't even have to be the Anna doing that. It could have been a soldier just like helix rocketing you and then hitting a few headshots and then Anna nading, like, or just like anything. There was even a Lucius like wall riding above you. Like you guys just went without your Winston even being there and then you also kind of just went without looking. And you guys end up winning the fight anyway, but I, I just really disagree with like how that approach was made. Just a road on point. Definitely should be able to hit that sleep. I'm not gonna normally like nitpick sleeps because it's whatever, but that was a pretty easy one to hit. Um, it's happened to me too, like easy sleep, so it's not. I'm not gonna dwell on it, but you're a little too aggressive here as well. You guys are winning the fight, um, so it's not too big of a deal, but. Okay, I have no idea why he would think that he needs a Zarya ult there. There's literally no reason to be Zarya ulting. This is, uh, it's really good that you're taking, um, trying to farm ult a little bit and doing damage. Like, any, any, like, two shot that you land or sleep you land there could lead to a kill. And just in general, like, peeking and poking for that, um, ult charge is good too. So it's good to do that, um... As long as you have your team to support you, and as long as you have the instincts to know when to run away. This is good, like, this is good play. Like, you're, you used your cooldowns, and, and, I don't know, you just, you just played that one pretty well. Uh, went for the right anti, and you went to great aggressive. That was a really careless um, nade. That was an okay, like that. That sleep was was all right to go go for that, but the the nade was super careless. Like you only saw one Ryan, so at most you were only gonna get one person, which is sometimes okay. But um, but on top of that, he had shield up, and you didn't really have a great angle. You could have done it um, on the wall behind him for sure. 
but uh, you also miss. So it was like a mechanical mistake on top of like a decision making mistake. Like the mechanical one being you you missed the solo Rhine anyway, but the decision making one, I don't know if you should even just solo nade the Rhine anyway. Questionable gravitron searches. Dude, I, I feel like a, my my insight so far hasn't even been that like um big. I mean, maybe because you're a top 500 and you're already pretty good. Uh, but hopefully this is actually helpful to people. Like I don't know that I feel like I haven't really said anything like super interesting. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I did hit someone, dude. The Ryan died. Hopefully this is okay. My next squad review might just be one of my own gameplay videos, honestly. Because it's a lot easier. Like, I think it might be easier to do that. That was a good pre-nade. That was really bad on your tracers. Uh, that should have been... Okay, again, I don't want to nitpick sleeps. That should have been a really, really... That should have been a really, really easy sleep. You also positionally... Um, you guys lost comp You guys lost scouting info on the right because your tracer fed really hard. You didn't know what was there anymore. You shouldn't be in a position where you can get like uh, pressured from that side because you know you don't have info there. This is good again to poke like this. This could lead to a kill. It does lead to a kill. Um, I was going to say it could lead to a kill if you land a sleep, but you you all your damage also obviously can lead to kills too, um, especially when they don't expect it. All they see is the peeking Anna. Um, so that was good. Your instincts are there for the most part. Um, this is really bad on the McCree. Like, he should not even be trying to stay alive here. He should have just jumped off or, like, went in and killed some or went for a kill or anything. He needs to regroup with his team ASAP. There's no way a solo McCree is just going to live in the flank. And even if he does, there's no way he's going to get a ton of value. There really isn't. So that was a big mistake on the McCree part. I hear a Farah, and you, you guys like really, you guys should be peek. You and the McCree should be peeking him, like legit. Like obviously you don't want to. Like he should be a kill, easy kill. I honestly think you should have shot him more. Your McCree didn't need heals yet. You should have been shooting the Farah more. You also ran to the worst spot. Ever for kiting a Farah. I know your thought process you don't want to be in the open, but you can actually be shooting him and pressuring him away for you from you while backing out to somewhere else. Because you just backed out to a little choke where it's the easiest thing in the world to hit rockets. Um, again, you also pre fight you should have been shooting him more uh, which goes back to my like DPS versus healing tutorial thing. But um, there was no threat of your McCree dying yet, and the the Pharaoh was one shot from dying. You should be like, maybe you never get that kill. Maybe you missed your shots. I don't know. Maybe in that position, I would have missed shots too, but you didn't even go for them. You didn't even go for any shots on the the Pharaoh, and he could have died. And uh, your McCree was full health, or he maybe lost one bar. This is good. Uh, I like this. Your team wipes. You're in a really weird position, which is good because if they push too far ahead, you can get a sleep, and you can get a pick off that, obviously. And you actually do get a sleep. That's not even the kind of sleep I thought you could get. I just meant like if they pushed past you and you were behind them, but obviously that works too. Um, I like the... Um, okay, that... I disagree with that sleep right there. I know that... It's the picky... But that Anna isn't like a super big threat. There's like he's if you leave him alone, well, you guys didn't even leave him alone anyway. But the your Reinhardt went for him. But even if no one went for him, you don't even need to CC him because he's not really a threat. You kind of want to save that sleep just in case there's someone like delayed that baits to try to get a, like a lot of value out of their ult or something, like. For retakes this late in the game, I'm saving my sleeps. I'm pretty careless with sleeps in general, but um, if I know I don't have to save it for anything. But for retakes, like late game, I definitely save my sleeps just because um, you know they're going to be using big value ults to try to hold it um, to close out the game and shit. Again, I would not be using that nade there. Um, actually, no, that was fine. It was just not. Like, you definitely should have been. Like, it's just unfortunate you missed it. I think you definitely shouldn't be able to hit. Um, again, I don't use, I don't sleep there. Like, especially there, actually. Your McCree, see, look at this. You could be sleeping the Sphera. Like, that McCree was like one health. You didn't need to sleep him. 
speeding. He's speeding. For the retake, it's so important to save a sleep. And then again, here you could have had it for the 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 aimbot. You could have had it for the aimbot or the feral. Like it's last fight basically for them. Like they they want to close it out. Your Zarya is forced to Zarya ult just because he was overextending. You he. Yeah, he's saying he was going to die. He was going to die because of his position. That was really bad for him to be that far up when he has, like, his Anna's dead and, like, they have to come to point. You're just missing your skill shots here, like, that's so fucked up. Like, I'm not trying to call you out, but you definitely, like, especially a Roadhog should be able to land or nade or sleep on him, but it's all good. Like, in general, your mechanics are, like, okay, but right there it wasn't. But yeah, um, hopefully that was helpful. I feel like I didn't really say anything that's super interesting. But um, work on your, like, when you want to hold on to sleep. Uh, I think it was first point where you didn't call a regroup when you should have, and you also dropped off high ground when you should have. So work on your positioning. Work on the positioning of your team by calling regroup, because uh, this game gets really chaotic at the end of the day, even like super high level teams. Um, your DPS and your tanks and everyone will chase random stuff because it gets super chaotic and it's really up to the caller and usually it supports to like kind of um, manage the chaos where you manage like 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 okay everyone's spreading out too much we need to regroup so when you were high ground and you could have been free farming on the first point you could have just been like all right I have high ground just stay on point I'm free farming or just regroup point regroup point whatever and uh, it would have put it would have put a lot more value on your high ground and it would have had um, a really big impact on your team from spreading out and stuff. So definitely work on maybe like being a little bit more assertive with calls, especially when you get high ground. And then when you do ha get high ground, don't drop. Uh, work on your nades. Uh, you kind of use them a little carelessly. It's okay to use them a lot, but definitely use them a lot if you have high percentage ones. Um, I hope that helped. Let me know any any criticisms or whatever. Um, that's my boy right there, dude. That's my teammate. Uh, let me... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this was good. Hopefully it was. Hopefully it helped. Thank you for watching.